What's up YouTube, it's your boy, the Mediocre Moose. Gonna be showing you how to set up a in-game bomb timer with audio cues to let you know how much time is left on the bomb. So I know the game already offers a 10 second warning uh, in-game, but if you want additional information as to roughly how much more time is left on the bomb, then this is what you gotta do. You set up a bind, which I'm going to show you in a second. After you hear that the bomb has been planted, you press the key that you binded the timer script to. So I just pressed my mouse 3 key, which is how I have it set up. You can bind it to whatever key you want. So that starts a 40 second timer. Once it gets down to 25 seconds, it will beep once, and then it will beep every 5 seconds after. So that was the 25 second warning. Okay, 5 more seconds. That's the 20 seconds left warning. That's the 15 second warning. Here comes the 10 second warning. All right, that's the 10 seconds left warning. And that's the five seconds warning, right? So all these additional warnings will help you decide whether or not to go for the diffuse. All right guys, let me show you how to set this up. Let me tab out of the game. Okay, so what I have here is all the lines of code that you will need for your config file. It has this command called sound play delay, which will initiate, you know, a time delay before playing a specific sound that's built into the game. So in this case, the 25 seconds left, a sound is beep 07, the 20 seconds left is beep 07, 15, and 10 seconds is blip 2, and then 5 seconds left is beep 2 2. If you don't like these sounds, you can change them to whatever you want. Down here, if you don't want to use mouse 3, you can bind it to any other key. I like using mouse 3. Okay, so once you have this config file, I'll leave a link to this config file in the description below with all the text. Also, I'll actually share my config file uh, via Google Drive in a link below so that you can just copy and paste it if you don't want to you know, change it at all. So you have to basically save this as a .cfg file and you have to save it into the following folder. For me, it's program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and then CFG. Okay, so save this config file into this CFG folder here. You can name it whatever you want. I called mine timer. Then once you have this timer.cfg file saved into this folder, hop back into game, open up your console. Once you open up your console, type the following exec space whatever you name that file. For me, I named it timer. Right, once you execute that, it's going to execute that config file and save that bind to whatever key you decide to bind to. Like I said, I bind mine to mouse 3. Okay, so what you want to do anytime the bomb gets planted, within one second of the bomb getting planted, if you press the timer key that you bind it, so in my case mouse 3, it'll initiate that 40 second timer that will beep every 5 seconds starting at the 25 second mark. Alright guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, get out there and stay average.